Researchers at two Japanese universities are testing an idea they hope will revolutionize the way we grow vegetables. They're developing what they say are efficient, sustainable factories that can fit anywhere from a parking lot to a home. Researchers at Chiba University are taking a great interest in the development of vegetable factories. They've devoted about a hectare of their campus to an experimental indoor farm. They produce 3,000 heads of lettuce a day there. Computers control all the lighting, nutrition, and carbon dioxide. It makes production more stable and efficient. We can produce vegetables about 100 times more efficiently than on an outdoor farm. That is an effective way for the future. The researchers are testing their ideas off campus, too. They've installed many factories in people's homes. This one produces about 10 types of produce, including lettuce and mint. The researchers worked with an electronics maker, a real estate developer, and a hydroponics specialist to produce the appliances. The people behind the project have set up a website for trial users. They can upload information such as how well vegetables are growing or ideas for recipes. And they can take pictures with a built-in camera, showing them to farming experts and asking for advice. We're in the test phase right now, but we hope it'll become a standard appliance. Scientists at another university believe vegetable factories can have therapeutic value. In April, researchers at the University of Tokyo set up a small factory in the grounds of a housing complex. They asked local retirees to look after the day-to-day -day production. The factory produces four kinds of leafy vegetables, including lettuce and potherb mustard. Workers vary the levels of lighting and nutrition to try to find the most efficient growing conditions. Growing vegetables energizes me. With minimal manual labor and temperatures kept at a cool 20 degrees Celsius, it's a lot easier than tilling the fields. Toshio Nakamura joined the project after retiring from a major electronics manufacturer. He says he wanted to try something new. He uses expertise from his old career, collecting and analyzing data to see how different conditions affect growth. It's fun to grow vegetables and think about factors like carbon dioxide levels. When he returns home, he compiles the results and sends them to the university. It's great to have somewhere I can put my skills to good use. Universities and corporations are pouring time and money into developing these high-tech farming systems. They believe one day soon, vegetable factories will be a common sight in city centers or even in our living rooms.